There's a driver in Arizona that is making $4,000 a week during this pandemic. So how is he doing it? Well, first off, we'll preface this video by saying that the driver that did this worked long hours, took extreme measures, and a lot of these techniques are not sustainable, but it's an interesting story regardless. So take this as an extreme example for someone that wants to make a lot of money really quickly. So we recently published a questions to ask yourself before returning to rideshare driving article on our blog. We heard from many of you who are cautiously returning to rideshare and are asking themselves the questions that we listed. One driver in particular stood out though. He sent screenshots showing that he's making over $4,000 a week driving for Lyft. So we reached out to this driver and interviewed him to get the details on how he's doing it. His name is Aaron P and he drives in Phoenix, Arizona. So right around the time that the pandemic hit the United States was when spring training baseball was happening in Arizona, which is typically a great time to earn in Phoenix. You have so many people coming from out of town to watch the games and just to go on vacation. So Aaron had to adjust his typical strategy during this time in order to maximize his earnings. It's also important to note that Arizona did open up earlier than a lot of other states. So there's a lot more activity in Arizona compared to other states, but it could be a precursor for those other states. All right, so originally once the pandemic hit, Aaron decided to adjust his strategy compared to previous years. Typically, he'd drive his luxury vehicle, his Lexus, and give the higher-end rides to, to ballplayers, coaches, and visitors. So lucky for Aaron, he has a more basic vehicle, a Nissan, which he could drive and give basic lift rides. But Aaron was also paying attention to the driver groups online and noticing that a lot of drivers were going on unemployment and weren't willing to risk their health to drive. So he began driving his Lexus again and started doing really well on lift Lux rides. So a big reason why Aaron is making that $4,000 a week is because he's driving a luxury vehicle. Those are higher priced rides. Um, and he's also deciding to drive exclusively for Lyft. He's found that from the passenger's perspective, Lyft will make it easier for riders to find those luxury options and often encourage riders to use those luxury options. And he found that it was not the same with Uber. With Uber, you have to flip through a few pages to see those luxury rides and they don't recommend them as much as they do with Lyft. And here's a quote that Aaron had about Uber. Um, he said, they'll let the passenger order a 30 minute wait even though he's sitting right there one neighborhood over from that passenger. And Lyft doesn't do that, Lyft tells them. They even do a pop-up and suggest for $8 more you can get a Lux in three minutes. Lyft is way better for me and it has been the whole time since I graduated to the luxury levels. So for luxury drivers, if the rides are going to be busier on one platform over the other, you're obviously going to choose that platform. All right, so now the meat of the video. He earned over $4,000 a week, so how is he doing it? Let's take a look at some of his screenshots of his earnings. So here's the week from May 18th to May 24th. He earned $4,149.05. He gave 97 rides and he was online for 84 hours, which if you look into that number, 12 hours a day times seven days a week, that's 84 hours. That's the maximum amount of time that you can drive for Lyft within a given week. He earned $405 in tips, $309 in bonuses, and $95 in cancellation earnings. All right, and if we take those net earnings, the 4149.05, and divide that by the 84 hours that he was online, you get just under $50 per hour. Now let's look at another week's earnings. The week of May 25th through the 31st, he earned $4,025.95. He gave 110 rides and again was online for over 80 hours. And that week again, he earned a little bit less, but still over $47 per hour. So some of you may look at this and say, yeah, he earned $4,000, but he was working 84 hours a week, which is not sustainable, which is a crazy amount of hours. But you can also look at his hourly earnings. His hourly earnings were about $50 per hour, which is attainable. Even if he would have worked half those hours, maybe he could have attained the same hourly rate or even better. All right, now also some of you may be thinking, well, he's deciding to drive 80 plus hours during a pandemic coming into contact with, you know, 100 people a week. But Aaron is making the choice that he's willing to risk it in order to make that amount of money during this time. All right, so Aaron has proven that you can make money during this pandemic. There is business. Would any of you be willing to implement this strategy, work these crazy amount of hours to earn that much money? Would it be worth it to you? For those of you that are still worried about the health risks with driving rideshare, there are other earnings options out there like delivering food or groceries, and we will leave our affiliate links in the description if you're interested in signing up for those if you haven't signed up yet. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and stay healthy. Thanks.